So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple DWC aeroponics hybrid for a hydroponic setup. And the first thing you're going to need here is a container. And the next thing you're going to need is just a few items. So what I have here, this is just um, aluminum wire that's coated. Uh, you can find this in plant stores. Uh, it's mainly for tying plants up, so uh, whatever you need it for. There's a, a lot of it in a roll, and it's very easy to work with. It's kind of like twisty ties. Um, this here is just vinyl tubing. Uh, you can get this really cheap from anywhere. I think this was t 20 feet for about four bucks. And this is half inch, uh, but the size of this doesn't matter. It matters that it fits your pump. Uh, the pump I'm using is a 210 gallon per hour uh, little pump here. And the link for this will be in the video description if you want this one in particular, but you can get any pump. I recommend getting at least a 200 gallon per hour pump or larger, um, and then you can always dial it back. Uh, but for me, this is going to work just fine. But half inch tubing fits this little nozzle on the end. Um, so all you got to do is attach that to the tubing and put it in the container, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, so you just take your container here, get your pump. You can set this anywhere in this container, but I really recommend setting it off to the side uh, somewhere because uh, your roots are going to grow down in here. And if you put it away from where the roots are growing, there's less of a chance of the roots actually growing into the pump. Uh, and there's other ways you can actually separate this from everything else to keep the roots out of it. But for the most part, if you're just growing one thing or just two things in here, the roots should pretty much stay away from it for the most part. So you can put it off to the side here. And then you'll take your tubing, just simply attach it to that. Now the pump doesn't have to sit any particular way. If it leans over to the side or, or whichever way it lays, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as it's off to the side of the container, that's going to uh, work out the best way. So then what you do is you take your tubing and you're going to put it around the container. And you're just going to kind of mock it up first. So what you'll do is just kind of push it into the corners a little bit so it gets around to the edges. And then you get all the way around to the other place of where you started. And then at that point, after you overlap, you'll have a, a little bit more than a complete circle, so a little extra length. And then what you do is you cut this end off right here. And then what you want to do is you want to take the end of this tube and you want to seal it off. Now there's many different ways you can do this. You can plug it up with something, put a cap on it. Uh, I mean, you can be creative however you want to do it. But the way that I do it is I just heat it up with a torch um, so that it's almost melting. Even if it catches on fire, it's okay. Uh, I recommend doing this in a ventilated area. Don't do it in a small room because what's going to end up happening is you're going to be breathing in a lot of these fumes. And they don't smell that great. Uh, but what I do is I heat it up so that it's basically melting like this. And then I will take a pair of pliers and then I will pinch it at the end so that it seals off. And you want to hold it just for a couple of seconds or so until it's actually uh, solidified. Now what you want to do is take your wire and honestly you could use, you could use anything. You could use a coat hanger and bend it up. You could use copper wire. Um, but this is what I'm using today so I'll cut off probably 10 of these. And now that I got my lengths of wire here, I'm just going to simply use those uh, to hang this vinyl tubing along the outside edge of this container. And these are thin enough to where it's not going to interfere with the lid. So you can do this a number of different ways. You can just wrap the wire around the tubing like one or two wraps and then just bend it over the side like this. Um, or what you could do is kind of just do it like a hammock and then bend both leads over the side like that as well. It doesn't really matter. So now after just a few minutes here, you can see that it's all set up. Now, you could make this whole thing with PVC if you wanted to, but you have to get uh, piping and you got to cut it. And you got to get your joints and do all kinds of measuring. This is just a simple, quick way to do something. And you can set up a bunch of these pretty quickly. So now what we're going to do is add water to the container, which is going to lead into the next step. So I can show you what you're going to do to make the holes in this tubing. So now with the pump plugged in, what you're going to do is you're going to grab yourself a torch and a nail. You can start at the end, you can start at the beginning, it doesn't matter. But for me, what I'll do is I'll start at the end and I'll make uh, a hole probably every uh, maybe eight inches or so. 
until I get all the way around to the other side. And then what I'll do is I'll start filling them in with other holes in between because I don't want to make too many holes and have a uh, low flow. So the nail is going to be heated up and you're going to poke it through and the water is going to start coming out. Uh, and this is kind of important because when you actually do this, it's going to basically solidify the vinyl as it heats up so that the hole doesn't close on itself after you pull the nail out. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to turn this pump off so I can talk a little more about this. So what I'm actually going to be doing with this here is growing watermelons indoors. And the experiment is not to see if I can grow them indoors, it's to see if I can grow them under only 100 watts worth of light. And the lights I'm going to be using for that are QG LED light strips, which are light strips I did a review on in a previous video, link will be in the description below. And I'm going to be attempting to grow sugar baby watermelons under them and I will see what happens. Uh, but if you want to see the watermelon video uh, or just see if it actually works out, the link will be in the description once the video is done. So that's about it for this video. You can click the link in the description below if you want to know more information about why this method works a little bit better than using an airstone. So I appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you in the next one.